Alright you guys, what's up? Figured I'd fill you guys in on a, little, on a couple things I've been doing on the Raptor project. You're sitting on the tailgate right now. Um, one of the things that I got was I picked up some... Well, I didn't pick it up. I ordered it on Amazon. And Amazon's Prime 2-Day Delivery starts a week after you order it. Right on. I don't know how that works, but... Uh, so this stuff here is... If you can see, it's got two, two of the uh, the rolls with a square in the middle tape. So I'm gonna line the edges of the tailgate on the ta on the uh, bed itself, and then between the tailgate and the bed. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. Um, I also got this, which is the Corsa exhaust. I got the Corsa exhaust in, so I got to put that on. I don't know if I'm uh, motivated enough to do that today because it's 3 p.m. now. All day long I told myself, oh, I'll just wait till it cools down a little bit because I'm actually, I'm outside. This is the edge of my garage, so this part gets shade. But now that it's that time, I don't know if I'm going to actually do it. So, if you can see, these are uh, got the method wheels in as well. I've got five of them. Now, I don't have tires. The only reason why I bought these, they were on mad sale. It was like, I think it was 20, 22% off. So, I saved, I saved, uh, I think, 45 to $50 per wheel on those. And it was like, look, it, that sale, I checked like 10 different places on the prices. And it was literally $50 cheaper for this sale. And when I ordered them, they said they were in stock at the place I ordered them from in Phoenix. Yet, they shipped direct from Method in wherever. They're in like Riverside or something like that. So they shipped direct from Method. So legit, uh, they're Envy's. A lot of stuff on them. So here's what they look like. NV series, and then I've got a plate for the center here that that should have a a murdered out SVT just like the stock ones do. But these are uh, 4.75. Well, these are 17 by eight and a halfs with a zero offset and a 4.75 backspace. What that means is if I ever wanna change my upper control arms on this, that'll give me that extra bit of room for the new style ball joints, delta joints, uniballs that they use on the different uh, upper control arms. Yeah, these are, I think they're pretty good looking. I like these. Other than that, I did, I'm gonna swing the camera around, but I did one of those little Tailgate, tailgate assist drops. It's like like the hydraulic things like when you lift your hood or camper shell. Little hydraulic thing because when I added this plate to the tailgate, it made it a lot heavier and it really wants to slam down. And I noticed that, you know, I've always got kind of something in my hand when you're trying to bring the tailgate down. This works really good. And it went on, it took about five minutes to put it on. And also did something inside, so let me show you that. So if you can see right here, this little, it's uh, made by DZ, which is, you know, it's one of those just kind of automotive accessory companies that make random stuff. There's a plate here that bolt that goes right behind this bolt that holds your, this. And then on the bottom, there's an existing hole in the tailgate, and they give you like a nut cert where it goes in and it, it squeezes the back, kind of puts in a nut cert. And then it snaps on, so it took, like it took literally five minutes. And so, it's working, it, it works like really hard though. When I bring it down, it's like It's really make, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Tailgate's pretty heavy. Other than that, if you can see right here, I got, um, I used to have one of these bed rugs a long time ago, in a, a complete bed rug that went up inside. It was one that had a snug top fiberglass lid 
totally, totally waterproof, dirt, dust proof, all that stuff. So, and those were pretty expensive, but I'm, I'm thinking that was like 10, it was at least 10 plus years ago, maybe more, Pro yeah, probably 15 years ago. So I found this one, which is only the bottom, it's not the sides, and it's the bed rug. If you're not familiar with bed rug, it makes it look like carpet, but it's actually like completely oil resistant, water, you know, all that. It's closed cell foam on the bottom with a, like a felt on top. What that does is allows me to, you know, throw like gun cases or whatever I want in there. It'll help things from slipping around. Right now I've got this stuff in here. This is a jumper cables. I've got a toe strap and I had a table in here. I just put it in there and let the heat bake it because it came rolled up in a box. So it's actually sitting pretty straight. I don't even think I have to use the little double stick things to hold it in. And then right, like right here is where I'm going to put this stuff. It's going to go right here. This whole roll is going to go right like that. Now, here and along the bottom. So when this closes up, it's going to try and prevent some of that dust from coming in because it was literally pouring in. I had red clay dust all back in here after testing out how good that, how good or not good the seal was back here, and it wasn't good. And it's just because there's big gaps. All right, so last thing is this little plate up here. Can you see this plate? So it, it mounts like, I've got right now, I've got a, uh, a RAM mount and a GoPro right here. So that's for like a microphone. But it's got plenty of room to mount all kinds of stuff on there. And it's, it's actually bolted in. That's one of those like little trays they put on your dash. But you're never going to throw like your phone in there because the sun is just going to beat down on it. So I put that thing in, another little five minute install. Pretty nice. I think it's by a company called Bill Wright Industries. So that's pretty cool. I know you guys, I never actually showed the inside of this thing, but it's not, you know, it's a 2011, so there's nothing like really fancy in here. You got the switches and stuff like that, and the little, like, wow, this screen here, marginal. Marginal. And then if you can see in the back, remember I talked about my bag? There it is right there. There's my bag. It's, uh, I know you can't, it's hard to see because it's camouflaged, but that's my, my go-to bag. And then I got a little sunroof action up there, which I don't like sunroofs.
I wanted to show you some of like the small upgrades that I've been doing. The little tailgate thing. I tell you, as cool as that little dash, I mean, as simple as that little dash mount is, I really, that was one of the things I was really looking forward to getting because trying to film while you're inside and I want to be able to talk with, with a fairly decent mic, if you start putting all these suction cups on your on your windshield, you get pulled over. That's illegal. It's blocking your view. So having them mounted down there, they're a little bit lower profile. They definitely don't block because now I don't have two big suction cups plus the arm plus the camera and mic. And it's just really nice. It's really nice. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. Goes in two existing holes. You pull the thing out and you bolt. You So it's got two bolts and then two screws for the factory. And then right in behind it is the factory uh, speaker. So it works out good. It was a totally unused place. The little tailgate thing, I saw it. I, I didn't think about it. I saw it. I'm like, hey, that, that actually could come in handy with this heavy tailgate. The bed rug, which is going to be throw that stuff in there. And then to seal this thing up. And the big thing is the exhaust. I really want to try and do that. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow. But, you know, filming that, I kind of would just... Maybe I'll just show you what it looks like and then zap it off. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I don't really want to do it. But, I mean, I want to do it. I'm just feeling lazy today. But regardless, that's it, you guys. That's going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching.